is looking for 2017. 200. Your request was 221,517. The selectmen added. What did they add, Kevin? The, there were some um, 4,000 adjustments made um, to the wages and salaries and gasoline. And those are the only two items really that were adjusted. Okay. So the increase that you see, the 3.82 increase. So you asked 221,517, and the but and we're working from the board of selectmen's figure 225,336. I'll move that. Mr. Lebranch so moves. Mr. Henderson seconds. And I will note on this that the gasoline is not as shocking in this budget for some reason. I don't know what the reason is. And also, the default budget salaries is regular wages is incorrect. Yes, the default budget is different than the actual budget. Okay, Kevin, we have a motion for 225-336. Talk to us. Yeah, and basically what those are, again, is there's a couple of line items that had adjustments, whether contractually uh, required or uh, merit raise. Um, that's wages and salaries. And um, then the gasoline adjustment that you do see. Right. And those are the only two items. Other than that, pretty much everything is flat. Um, Excellent. Consistent and pretty much right on target. Um, the only big item that made that jump there that you're going to see is replacement equipment, and Jason was just talking about that earlier. That's the other half of it. Well, it's the other 40%. 40%. Yeah. Correct. We have a large copying machine that does several things for us, you know, legal, um, letter, 11 by 17 copies. Right. It also scans. It also emails. It's, and it uh, takes a tremendous beating. And it takes a lot of, yeah. a lot of, yeah, a, a large beating because it's the building department, it's the planning yeah. department and the planning board, it's the conservation yeah. and the conservation commission, yeah. and it's the zoning board. Yeah. So That's it's really shared by four different, two, two yeah. departments, two commissions. Yeah. It gets a lot of use. And right now, the one we have is, it's long overdue and it's been, yeah. you know, it's constantly being worked on. I went to use it today, and two of the three things that it's designed to do weren't working. That's why I saw you. So upstairs. it could make me a copy, but I couldn't scan, I couldn't email, and yeah. that's why I saw you upstairs when I was fighting. That's what I was doing. Copier. Exactly. Okay, questions. I have for a question here. Um, yeah, sunny I'm curious. Market. Since the copy gets such a workout, why not lease it and then you get the service? But well, we have we have a uh, service. You have a service contract. Yes, but, I do. mean you're still trying to work your own equipment with a lease. You have new equipment. Um, that's. I have no idea. Yeah. This is the way we decided to go. To get out. We got um, some estimates through the I Paul helped us because um, he works Paul in IT, and uh, we got a estimated cost for a. Recondition, nice unit. Yeah, that'll give us several more years down the road of around five thousand dollars, somewhere around there. Good. That's that's not carved in stone. It could be less, but okay. Mr. LeBranch has a question. It's more of a comment, Kevin. I just want to say that um, considering all the building that's been going on in this town oh, for yeah. these last several years, you and your department do an excellent, excellent job. Thank you very much. Yeah. I appreciate that, and I got a great team. Yes, okay, great further, team. further questions for the uh, building inspector. Tim? Kevin, uh, you got a raise in here? I did. How much? I think it was 5%. 5%? I did. The uh, copier uh, scanner. Yeah, it's too much narrow. You want to call it? <laughs> As I, as I recall, this this was an item that we purchased just a few years ago, right? I remember supporting it. No, the one you're thinking of is the one that they were talking about out in the lobby, yeah. the larger the big one. Uh, that makes the blueprints and scans. Okay. No, 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 negative. The copier that's in my office has been there, i got to say, six years, yeah. maybe more. This one that I was referring to just a moment ago, who, do you know who uses that? Oh, uh, yeah, several departments. Um, we use it sometimes when we're making copies of larger plans. Mm -hmm. um, we have a system now in place where we are scanning and, and uh, scanning all of our records. 
online so they're accessible and we can slowly but surely get rid of a lot of paper files mm -hmm. and that. There's that whole back room back there. Right? Which I, I think I, I took you for a tour there, I think one day. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, so so we use that for scanning as well. So so you're digitizing all the documents and that's what that scanner is primarily used for, is digitizing it, well, the historical documents mostly. I don't know if it's primary for that, but it's it definitely a big part of it. And is this one you have present in your office, if that were to break down, you would use this this one here? Um if yeah, but the one that we use in my office, that's more geared up for bigger jobs. Right. For bigger jobs. Mm -hmm. The one we use in my office, like today, I couldn't use a couple of things. I just I went upstairs and I used like the finance departments and the town managers and the one that they use upstairs. Okay. So um, the planning department planning on using this, right? Yes, sir. Another department whose name is right? The Conservation Commission. Conservation Commission. And the Zoning Board of Adjustment. Oh. And the ZBA. Oh. Yes, sir. All, all those are going to be sharing this this, uh, this copy machine. Scanner. Okay, Tim, all set? No. Well, let's move. we've got to move. All right, we, we have to have speed, not quality, I understand. So I'm wondering, you know, given that you have these, this is a small device, the other one's a larger device. Smaller and, device, yeah. Smaller device. And uh, why, why isn't planning having its own? Uh, do they not have the physical space for it? Or, you know? Uh, well, I can tell you that that's, that could be part of the reason. We are in tight quarters, and uh, I know you've been in the planning office, and I believe you've been through my office. I mean, as it is right now, we're sitting on top of each other. I mean, the total cost of this unit is what? Because it's, it's broken up all over the places. We got an estimate from, I said, like I said, Paul in the IT department, that a, a good, reliable, reconditioned unit would be somewhere around $5,000. So, that's, so that's, that's, that's the number we ran with. Okay, 5000 So probably, possibly, we could throw another 5000 and get a second and have a backup device and less well, crowd in your ear because no. you're not actually metering. You're okay. using this, right? Enough, gentlemen. I don't meter it, no. It's, there's okay. no metering mechanism in place for it, right? So you don't know which department is oh, no. driving Absolutely the not. Okay. Absolutely not. Okay, you ready for the vote on the motion for the building and code inspection 225,336 for 2017? Yeah, no, no, it's not. I'll be supporting you, but I will not support a bounce rush. I vote no. Okay, Mr. Jones is voting against. Uh, uh, the rest of the board is. I understand, right, Kevin? Okay. I'm hearing you, sir. Okay. All right, great. Kevin, thank you so much. Thank you, guys.